is day two guys. It is early in the morning so everyone else is sleeping except for me. I'm awake because I'm going to be working in my closet. It is a mess from the holidays and well, what better time to fix it than right now? All right, let's begin. Welcome to my closet, my messy closet because I've been so busy running around and with Thanksgiving that this happened yes this mess right here i have not put stuff away there's my wrapping paper and things like that from yesterday so i am fixing this up this morning it's all of my clothes that were washed and not put away so let's get started putting clothes away after washing them is not my favorite i just don't like doing laundry <laughs> so here is my closet finally all done and put away and oh gosh I love it now sadly we started the day with laundry and we are going to continue with laundry and yes I'm one of those that mixes my whites with my colors so yeah that's how it is guys that's just the way it is Laundry, laundry, it's just how it is. That's oh, just how it is. Um, and you know what? My clothes don't tend to get all messed up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, my clothes don't tend to get too bad. Like how some clothes tend to get kind of funky when they get mixed with other materials. I don't know if it's my washing machine or because I don't really stuff it too much, but things have been working out okay. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Plus, you know what, I'm kinda busy, so I don't have much time to switch it out. And I know, I know some people are gonna be like, no, she's mixing it all in. But you know what, it's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do to get your laundry done and survive right so yeah that's just what i do okay i think that is enough actually i do want to throw in one more towel because i just want one more towel in there i think that is it i think that's good oops all right and then um i'm gonna throw in my detergent and right now we are using all See that? I'm using the all stay lifters. So it's been working pretty good. And I'm one of those that actually likes to put a little bit extra. I know you're not supposed to, but I do. And that's it. That's how I do my laundry. There you go. Oh, here is Benji. Benji is my son's bearded dragon. And you can see him posing, looking really nice there. His cage is actually really nice because it does look like a desert back there. Ooh, and Benji moved. Hi, Benji. Hi, Benji. Benji likes to pose. He's really handsome. He's actually really fun, too. And sometimes he just hangs out with me. Um, but right now, he's just hanging out here, warming up in the sun, and enjoying his day. Okay, let's watch Benji. See if he'll move, because sometimes he does. When he knows he's being videotaped, he doesn't move, so... I don't know, right now I think he knows he's being videotaped. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Looking good, Benji. Oh, I think you heard that because he kind of tilted his head a tiny bit when I said that. Good boy, Benji. Benji. Uh, Benji's kind of a sophisticated Benji right there. They say he is like the dog of lizards. Okay, maybe not. He's looking at me like with a side eye saying, I don't think so. Oh, he's moving. Yeah. 
He's upset. He didn't want to be called a dog. No, you are a bearded dragon. That's right. For dinner, we are having pasta. So we are boiling the noodles right now. And you can see the steam going. Uh, my daughter's actually cooking it. She's learning how. So she put the noodles in before it actually had that big rolling boil, but that's okay. She's still learning and that is fine. So here is our pasta sauce going and it is so good. I admit we do use ragu as our base to start it off. However, we do um, our own ground beef. We throw in some crushed tomatoes and then we add in our own spices to give it more of a homemade feel. And then when we do choose our sauce from ragu, we always choose the ones that are more chunky or the garden variety. Yes, it is so good. I can't wait to taste it. And we tend to cook it on the stove and let it simmer for a while just so that the flavors really incorporate into the meats and mix them together really well. Dinner's over. The kids are finally doing their own thing and I finally get to look through my candles. All right, so yes, I'm super excited because I know I bought a lot of candles, and guess what? I think most of them are going to be for me. Yeah, I know. I went in with intentions of buying some for others, but let's be real, I bought a lot of it for me because I love candles. I seriously do, and I don't buy them all the time. I don't go to Bath and Body Works a lot. I just go once every so often, not not even no let's be real i don't even go every so often i just go during the christmas holiday like after black friday i don't even go black friday isn't that crazy it's kind of sad i didn't go after black friday this year the only time i went was this saturday that was it and this is all that i bought isn't that sad i normally go and buy like the shower gels the lotions the hand soaps and this year this is all i bought the candles but I'm really happy because the candles were $8.95 and I would never pay $24.50 for it so I'm super super duper happy and oh my gosh I can't wait to get through it okay let's see what I got I gotta organize oh and by the way if you didn't know they give away this free cellophane packaging and it looks like this it's a really nice size and since I'm keeping a lot of the candles for myself, I'm actually gonna reuse this to pack other stuff. I mean, I'm going to use it to wrap the candles I give away to other people, but I'm actually gonna use it to wrap other stuff. Like if I give away mugs or something else like that, that fits in there, that's what I'm using it for. I mean, it's really cute and look at that. It's really pretty, it looks festive. It doesn't look like your regular plain old cellophane packaging. It's actually like, better <laughs> yeah it actually looks really cute okay okay so let's go through the candles because i am super excited i've got rose water and ivy lemon leaf fresh cut lilac and white gardenia guys you know what i made my purchases i was ready to leave and as i was leaving i saw the guy pushing his cart out with all the new candles and i saw white gardenia well what cut my eye was really this watercolor white flower print because i love white flowers i really do during my wedding my colors were white and green and that was it i didn't do any of that pink peach whatever because that's not me i love simple stuff i love nice clean colors i mean you saw the bedding i bought it was all done in whites and creams and silvers and gold but mostly white that's me. White makes me feel calm and relaxed and everything. And so I saw this and I went back and I asked if I could take a look. And then he was like, oh, of course, go ahead. And so I saw it was white gardenia. And oh my God, gardenia, white gardenia is my favorite scent of all. In fact, there's this perfume I really want, but I can't afford it. It's by Chanel and it's called gardenia. And I want it so, so bad. But it's like expensive it's like a couple hundred dollars and then that means if i buy that then i won't get to buy anything else for a long 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 time so of course i don't buy it i just think about it but i saw this candle and as soon as i saw it was white gardenia i smelled it and i was like oh i love this speaking of which the candle is white and so i was like oh can i have two of them 
and then I was walking away I was like oh can I have another can I have another so I ended up with four I was so happy and then I got two of the rose water and the ivies and finally I decided you know what let's get one of these fresh cut lilacs and one of these lemon mint leaves and so I ended up with these four there are more I think there was like eucalyptus mint but that kind of reminded me of um you know the aromatherapy you know the aromatherapy candle the one called stress relief it kind of reminded me of that so I decided not to get it since I already have that or I've had it so I wanted something new so I decided not to get it but yes I love this and what else did I get um I got some of them from the peach Bellini line and then I got this one crushed candy cane I was looking at reviews online and they were saying that this kind of smells like twisted peppermint just a little bit softer and so it's not that big of a difference so i was like oh man i think i might return this so yeah i might we'll see about that but guys anyway i still love what i got i'm super excited so i'm gonna go ahead and play with these on that note i'm going to end my vlogmas well guys i hope that you like my video i hope you share it with your friends and if you have not done so already i hope you subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and happy holidays